Hello everyone, welcome back to GI Players Portal 2. I'm Player One Anthony TZ, and last episode, well, we tried helping Wheatley, but he totally backstabbed us after he found out his true purpose was to dumb down GLaDOS. You know, after he turned GLaDOS, well, actually during he turned GLaDOS into a potato, potato, and we fell into the bottom pits of Aperture Science into the original labs. Damn. You know, I could probably just clear that clear that out. Oh, I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to get in here. I didn't realize I was doing good. <laughs> Know this voice. Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorary into the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married to science. The voice of J. Jonah Jameson. Whoa, what the hell? God, I already was out here. Okay. So, looks like we could launch ourselves maybe all the way over to there. How the hell we're gonna do that? I have no idea. Hmm. We gotta get ourselves up there, though. Just wander around. Can't get there or there. Oh, hey, there's a spot up there. We can launch ourselves with that. Yeah. Alright. So. How the hell am I going to do this? Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Ah, okay, okay. All right, we'll have one right here, and we'll have a blue one right there. Okay, let's try this out! Woohoo! Right through the hoop! There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enriched spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have, and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the report. Still looks field very today, nice in just here. Follow the blue line on the floor. Those of Cave you who to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow There's the one for line. shower curtain salesman of 1943. 1949. Top 100 applied science companies. Aperture Science, number two. Spirit of Idaho. Potato Science. Wow, they just can't stop giving us that potato stuff. Local entrepreneur buys salt mine. So that's where we are. We're inside of a salt mine. That's where Aperture Science is. Cave Johnson, shower curtain salesman of 1943, Aperture Fixtures. So this all started with shower curtains. And then potato science. And then, gradually, portal science. Dude, this room still looks very nice. I mean, there's a little bit of a skirmish here, but look at these. These look decent. There's a couple stains on them, but we'll just ignore that. Oh, hey, we're back out here again. Please wait for a tenant to begin lift. I ain't waiting for bullshit. Is 
Long way up. There's a speaker right up here, so we're gonna hear something. Oh, yeah, I guess we're not going out that one. There we go. Well, you want me to zoom, but where? So over there? Ah, there's a, a door right there. Ah, there we go. Notice. Experiment discontinued. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Huh? That doesn't sound right. <coughs> okay, I need to find a way to get into that door. What's that over there? Okay. Um. Huh. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Okay. What am I missing? Other than a freaking bridge. Can't reach anything over there. Need to get to that... I'm assuming I need to get to that door. Although that whole wall is portalable. Let me just check around here real quick. More portal wall right here. Clear line. Hmm. Damn, we are really high up. I'm supposed to be going somewhere else that I'm looking. Oop. I need to look somewhere else. Think, Anthony, think. Use that brain. You've done this before. What was the answer? Is that a... Hmm. <gasps> okay, so there's a... Okay, okay. I get it now. I absolutely get it now. All right. I didn't notice that there was a top. Okay. All right, so we'll get that there. And we'll still do the elevator shaft thing. And here we go. We should get perfectly launched now. There you go. That took way longer than it should have. Pump station alpha. Clearly I needed to go down the other staircase. Dingus. Let 
going the right way? No, I'm not. Where the hell am I going? Do I need to go back outside? No, there's no. Oh! When in doubt, look up. I like that sometimes they'll just hint at their, like, doors and stuff like that. That you should probably, like, you know, look around for something or something like that, you know? Like, there's bricked off walls. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. All right. Progress. Okay. Next station. And there's... Ah, God, blinding light. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. <laughs> you get the gel. Last four well, look at that. Blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Remember, this test is unsolvable without Aperture Science portable quantum tunneling device. So they had freaking huge ass portal devices back then. Interesting. I'm forgetting something. Oh, hey! Boingy! Alright, so we have our new gimmick. Bouncy Goo. Okay. Not a lot of time. Ah, uh, old ass cubes. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. There you go. Bilzer, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Hmm. Who needs stairs? You got portals. Okay, where the hell is GLaDOS? For this next Last test, episode we, we saw her get carried off by a pigeon, in but terms, that's a I could have sworn we find her again soon. Genes and RNA maybe it's after and this, like, area tumors. or something, because... Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. I love that they went with the aesthetic of trying to make the portal testing facilities look older while still having the same technology in the future. Where is the exit? Oh. Uh, wait. Oh, this isn't it. What the? Oh! Okay, that's what that did. Alright. 
I'll play your game, you rogue. Okay, now we just need to find a way to flip the other switch. Triangle jumping, portal style. And you could also die. Accidentally. Get through there to in there. Well, I guess go through this. No, that doesn't seem like the right amount. Ah, damn it. Just screwed myself. Oh! Dumbass, that's how you do it. Ah, make it, make it, make it! Ah, I didn't make it. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Good to know. Let's see here. I think I got enough time for maybe one more test chamber. There was a little bit of cutting from not knowing what to do on that one uh, elevator shaft thing. I mean, it did take me, like, probably less than 10 seconds to figure out what to do, but hey. Still probably did some editing. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Oh. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Hmm. Alright, so we got some places to play around with. Ah! Hmm. You did this to screw with me, didn't you, Aperture Science? Uh huh. your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Oh, okay. Now we can get the blue goo wherever we want. Alright. Let's put it right here. Flash there for a second there. Alright, that'll do. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we're still working with that. Get that sucker launched, yeah! Okay, get a nice good coating right there, that's pretty good. Okay. 
Here we go. Boingy baby. so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. All right. We're making some good progress here. Sure, you get stumped every once in a while, but it's easy once you figure out what the hell you're doing. Hey, we still got more goo and more places to go through. And we will continue with this next time. See you guys soon for more Portal 2.